Welcome to another YouTube video. This is going to be a one of two or three part series for all of our suspension. This episode, we're going to be doing our front and rear GU diffs. We're going to be fully assembling them with everything here to get them ready to go in the car. And then next episode will be suspension, etc. from there. So as you can see, we've got a lot of parts. We've got front and rear housings, our rear axles here, brakes, front TVs, centers, and everything to go along with it. So I'm hoping in this episode I can have two nice and new complete GU diff housings ready to roll into the car. So we've got GU diffs, the front one's out of the old GQ that we have and it was braced and the rear one is a H233. We used to have a H260 but I was sick and tired of how big it was, mainly the pumpkin. So we've got a 233 now and we've got PSR bracing up top and ramped long arms fixes, which basically just raises the control arm mount at the top from here to here. I got videos of us wearing them on, so I'll throw them in. However, for the front, that was braced years ago and it's just stayed as is. They've just got new paint on them, so they look great. Got our two rear axles here. They've got nice new calipers on them and it's all fresh, ready to slide in. And then up on the bench, got our four three diff centers this time. We used to have four 11s but I just thought I'd try the four threes. Everyone says they're great with 35s. In the front, we've got our ARB air locker, which I'm really excited to use. We can see we've got the fitting down below and the rear is just a GQ LSD. The big one, which is good. As for everything else, we've got our front brakes, hubs, swivel hubs, stub axles, brake lines, brakes, all of our hardware, nuts and bolts, all our new seals and everything, kingpin bearings. Grease, oil, everything, and our front CVs over here. So it's basically just gonna be a matter of put it all together. As for all of the other suspension, we've got our shocks here and then all our old arms and our new Superflex sway bar. The suspension is gonna be a whole separate video. There's way too much of it to cover. I'm changing kind of literally everything. Like we've got our front tail shaft here with new uni joints, which looks awesome. Long arms gotta go in, rear coil tower bracing, springs etc. There's just um, chassis mount, steering damper, bump stops, everything's in like there's there's just too much stuff to show. For this episode we can focus on just these two diffs and hopefully we can have two complete diffs by the end of this. We've also had to notch the rear cross member. This is really essential whenever you lift a patrol. You can flip the tail shaft which helps but you also should notch this. You can see here we've got the plate from PSR and it just sits on like this after you cut it out and it gets tacked on and welded and you can fully grind it back so it looks amazing. We've also had the long arms installed beforehand which helps heaps. As you can see here, I've grinded flush the old mount, fully cut it off, ground it flat so that it's just the chassis again. The only thing that's left behind is the little pin for the old bolt, but that's all right. The new mount sits on like this. You get everything you need to bolt it up so that you can weld it on. Here we've got marked out where we've got to grind the chassis down to bare metal. And you can see how good it looks, especially because the old mount's been fully cut off. You don't have any of that leftover weld sitting on the chassis that looks disgusting. You know? So we're putting the kingpin bearings in now, the racers and these. They stop oil coming into your kingpin bearings if your inner axle seals leak. They go right in here and they're just a seal to stop oil going through this gap here. So no one ever puts them in when you rebuild tool hubs, but they're kind of important. There you go, so you can see what they look like. They literally are just a cap in here with a rubber lip. 
and they stop oil from entering this space here when your kingpin bearing sits right there. So oil will leak through your wiper blades instead of into your kingpin bearing and stop your silver hub from falling off. So I've got my kingpin bearings here and to put them on, all I'm gonna do is sit them on, socket the same size as the inner part of the bearing, not the outer part. And we're just gonna tap them on. And then after we do this, I'll put grease in them with bearing packer. both knuckles on, all the wipers, kingpin bearings and CVs in along with the copper washer for both CVs. Next up we have stub axles which go on both sides as is. I've already got the... Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> what? Single, <you> can't. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got the seal and the inner bearing on it so they just literally go on with a little bit of silicon. Then these go on like so. I don't have the brake rotor guard because they get put in the bin. Psych! <laughs> oh, I've been calling my butt boot recently. So we have made a fair bit of progress. The rear diff is at the point where it's completely done, thankfully. I've got the brake caliper, brake pads in, brake lines, flexible brake lines, portioning valve bracket, main brake line here. You can see we've got our ramped upper control arm mounts here. So these are what raise it for the long arm fixes. So I've got this part here, and this is basically the middle of an old bushing and I've got a bolt through it. So basically that's gonna hold it where it is. It's not gonna squeeze it in anymore and it's not gonna let it move. So that's basically just gonna hold it on. And worst case scenario, if the welds break, this bolt is still here. So this can't really move. And then for the upper half, we've got the longer bolt because now this part is obviously wider than this part. So you gain this much. So they give you these washers. These are what you're supposed to weld in, but I totally forgot about it. So they're just gonna go in here and act as normal washers. I'm sure that'll be perfectly fine. But apart from that, this rear diff is completely done and it's basically ready to go in the car. The only part that's left is diff oil, which can wait. So for now, we can focus on the front diff. So I didn't actually hammer the kingpin bearings onto the kingpin hubs enough, so they weren't pushed all the way down. And I, when I tightened them, they were extremely tight, but this was ridiculously tight and I couldn't move it at all. 
So I had to take them all off again and hit them down even further and properly seat them. And now it's heaps looser and nicer and that's all good from there. We can move forward, we can put the hubs on and we can do brakes and wheel bearings and all that. And then the front will almost be a done diff as well. I also had to run a tap piece through the sway bar bolts. These are pretty prone to getting cross threaded and breaking with people using like impacts and stuff. And they had paint on them and I wasn't ready to thread a bolt and have to weld this bracket onto the diff again like I did on my last car. So we ran a tap through them and now all the bolts are on properly and that's ready for the Superflex sway bar. So all that's left up on the bench is we've got hubs, locking hubs, rotors, calipers, brake pads, wheel bearings, brake lines, and these are our nuts and bolts for our front tail shaft, which is sitting right there. That got new uni joints, so I'm super happy about that, and hardware, etc. And all that will finish this diff and make it a complete diff. All right, we're now gonna be preparing these hubs to get ready. So we've already got the racers in the hubs, and then we've got our wheel bearings back here, and then these are the seal that go on the back, like so and it seals it up to the stub axle on the diff. So we're gonna pack these wheel bearings using this little thing right here. I don't have an actual wheel bearing packer, but this one works perfectly fine. Then we'll just put the bearings in, we'll press these onto the back, and then this will be ready to go onto the rotor, and it can all slide onto the stub axle on the diff, and then we can tighten the wheel bearings and everything and go from there. So there we have it. We have got two complete GU diffs. I've put the tire on on this one as well, which is nice and it looks bloody great. Super happy with that color. The brakes are fully done all the way, lines, everything. The only thing I just got to do is do the wheel bearings. Once it's on the car, I don't want to do it in the garage because it's, it's too fiddly on the jack stands. I'm trying to talk them down, putting tires on it so you can feel it and everything like that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm really happy with how they look. I just wish that the rotors looked a little bit nicer, but they're only about a year old. They've just been sitting in the garage. The rear looks fantastic though. So happy with it. Everything's so nice and new. These are gonna look great under the car. So next weekend, these will be going under the car along with all the suspension. We're just waiting on one more thing for the suspension. I need my front long arms to come. Down here, we've got all the suspension wrapped up. We've got all the Dobinson shocks, remote resi holders. Superflex sway bar, and then all of our arms are under here, ready to go. And then we've got our old coils here, new front tail shaft, and we've got a couple of boxes of goodies. Coil tower bracing for the rear. These are just the boss ones. They're kind of the easiest bolt-in ones to use, and they work with my dropout cones, so they're pretty hassle-free. And then in this box here, we've got heaps of stuff. That's for our Superflex sway bar, locker activation kit in here, compressor for our locker, Chassis mount steering dampener, sway bar links, bump stops, spacers, diff breather hoses here. So much stuff in here. Basically just all of the fittings for all the little things like for that and the 
long arm kit that went in, etc. So that will be the conclusion of this episode. Pretty happy we got both diffs basically fully done. I've just got those hubs to do, which is pretty easy once it's in the car. So these are basically ready to roll up and go in the GQ next weekend. So we'll have a couple videos coming up. Next one will be suspension. I'm not sure if I'm going to do one just for the whole rear of the car and one for the front, or maybe do it all in one hit. And then afterwards, we'll do some sort of walkthrough and look at everything that's gone under the car because there's a lot going on. Basically, every single component in the drive line past the gearbox is getting replaced. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing these diffs get put together. It's pretty satisfying when everything's really nice and new. I will see you guys in the next video.